Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a HD morph in Blender for your DAZ characters. Uh, to do this, you just need a DAZ Blender diffeomorphic plugin uh, and DHDM, and I'm going to link those in the description. Uh, yeah, so my, I've got my custom character here. It's a G9 character with uh, a bunch of stuff dialed into the morphs and the uh, actor. Um, and the only thing that matters right now is we want to put the uh, resolution to base. Uh, and if you wanted to make it for all the clothes and stuff, I suppose you do the same thing. You make sure the resolution is on base. Um, and then we have to save our scene. And we run the diffeomorphic export script. This came with the diffeomorphic. I've just gone into two Des Studio scripts, diffeomorphic. Uh, and I'll explain that in the um, description as well. Uh, and I'm going to save this dbz file right next to the scene that we just saved, next to my scene. I'm going to select export HD UVs. We don't need these other two. And this should be really quick because I've only got one character here. Yeah, so that's done. Uh, now we go to Blender. Uh, we can delete this stuff um, and you'll have this DAS setup uh, tab if uh, if the instructions to install diffeomorphic and stuff worked uh, and we'll use easy import DAS and we'll point it to uh, we're going to select the scene file not the dbz the scene file that we just saved and, I'm, and we open that Again, it should be very quick. Okay, once that's loaded, uh, let's zoom in on what we've got. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is go to the mesh object. So it'll have your character here, and we want the mesh. And we go to modifiers, and we're going to delete these two modifiers that it's created for us. And we're going to add a multi-resolution modifier. Um, and I'm going to subdivide this, uh, let's say, four times. Okay, once that's done, we can start uh, sculpting in our details. So whatever the morph you actually want to create is. I'm just going to do some random uh, garbage just so that you know that it's working. Right, so stuff like this wouldn't appear uh, without a HD morph. It would just, you know, be very low poly. Uh, so let's just say we're happy with that. Go back to layout. Okay, and now we go to the DHDM. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not the DHDM. Where was it? Sorry. Uh, I think it is the DHDM. Yes. Okay. So yeah, this is the window we want. The DHDM window. Uh, working directory and matching files directory, you can just create these wherever you want. Um, I've put them in my downloads. Uh, yeah, maybe I should just quickly do that. So, this is the matching dir. Nope. This one is matching dir. And this one. Yeah, so these are just in my downloads of documents. You can put this folder anywhere you want. Um, and this working directory is where it's going to spit out the two files that we're interested in. Uh, I keep unit scale the same, and base mesh, we're going to put your character's mesh, in my case, Van Helsing. Uh, and we're going to click Generate Matching Files. 
uh, in my case I've used four subdivisions so I think that's what we're going to use here and we'll say overwrite. Okay, once that's done we can continue. Uh, we shall select the HD mesh. Again, it's just my mesh. Uh, our new morph name. Um, I'm just going to call this one Tutorial Morph. Tutorial HD, let's say. Uh, and this is the most important one, actually. Morph DAS directory. Uh, this is where it's going to appear for your character. Uh, either way, uh, you want to check your data directories in your content libraries. And uh, in this case, I'm going to put, uh, let's say, tutorial morphs. Uh, and this is where it's going to expect to find those two files that we're going to generate here. So we're going to have to go to this, this directory and create this, uh, oh, I don't know why I did that, and create that directory, tutorial. Cool. And then we click uh, generate dsmdhm files. OK, and once that has completed, uh, we're going to go to this working directory and grab those files. Um, yeah, so for in my case, test HD morphs, there is a folder generated in here for me, the mesh. And we go to new morphs, and we'll find those two files that were. So in our case, they're called tutorial MHD morph and the DHM. I've got these two here. So I'm going to copy those. And we're going to paste them inside this directory, which, if it <clears throat> if it doesn't exist yet, we're going to create this tutorial morphs folder. So custom test uh, is not what we're looking for. Uh, so morphs and then tutorial morphs. I'm in this directory. Uh, and you notice we've put slash data only. It's not expecting the library, right? Slash data, DAS 3D, Genesis 9 base, morphs. And I'm going to create that directory as expecting. Tutorial morphs. And we're going to paste those two files in. Uh, and now we can go to DAS and reopen our scene. Okay, and when our scene has reopened, uh, we can select our character. Uh, and if we go to actor and type in the name of the morph we just made, which for me was tutorial case sensitive. Sorry, not under actor, under your character, Van Helsing HD in my case. I've written tutorial and here's our new morph, the tutorial uh, HD morph. It's not going to appear yet for you because uh, it's a subdivision. Uh, we need subdivision first. So we'll go back to our character, general resolution, and do high resolution. And immediately you can start to see that. Uh, once you do a render, it'll be very obvious. But um, that is the. Uh, that is our HD morph. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, this method was shown to me by Uncanny Valet on the 3D Shards Discord, and huge thank you for that. Like I've tried to do this many times in many different ways, and uh, this is the only method that's worked so far. Um, if I figure out how to do uh, more stuff, I believe the same method should work for clothing, and uh, if it's slightly different, maybe I'll make another video. But that's the method for now, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.